The Netflix documentary of Duchess Meghan and Prince Harry has caused a furor and some critical voices. But now something positive could come out of the series for the Sussexes. Duchess Meghan, 41, and Prince Harry, 38, have told their story in their six-part Netflix documentary. On December 8, 2022, the first three episodes came out, followed a week later by the rest. The Sussexes already caused a stir with the release dates, as December 8 was the two-month anniversary of the death of Queen Elizabeth, 96. On December 15, Catherine, Princess of Wales, 41, had given a Christmas concert. With the release of their documentary, the dropout royals would have wanted to overshadow Kate's event according to the accusation at the time. In the six episodes, Harry and Meghan eventually declared war not only on the British press, but also on the royal family. The shocking statements about King Charles, 74, Prince William, 41, and company have made high waves. The fact that the couple, who now live in Montecito, are once again publicly firing against the British royal family has caused headshaking among expert Innan, and the Sussexes have had to take a lot of criticism. After all the headwind, however, they could now be rewarded. Duchess Meghan and Prince Harry's documentary is nominated for an award. Because the documentary Harry and Meghan could win an award. At this year's Hollywood Critics Awards, the Netflix series is nominated in the category Best Streaming Nonfiction Series. The Hollywood Critics Association has now announced this via Twitter. The Royals are up against A Planet Before Our Time 2, Rain Wilson and the Geography of Bliss, Renovations by and starring Jeremy Renner, 52, The 1619 Project and The Reluctant Traveler. The most explosive statements in the Netflix doc. In addition to intimate details like their history of getting to know each other, as well as private footage of their home in Montecito, California, Harry and Meghan have spoken out against the royal family. For example, they have claimed that the royal family has not protected Meghan from the media. Also, in the documentary, Harry talks about his second family, which can be taken as a jab at Charles. I found a second family and friends there who literally raised me, he says of his time in Lesotho, Africa. Whether Sussex's revelations will be honored with a prize remains to be seen.